Hi everyone, welcome back to another plan with me. This plan with me will be recapping the month of March and setting up April. I'm so excited. The birds are chirping, the sun is shining today. Although the last three, four days we've had snow, freezing rain and a thunderstorm. But today it feels like spring <clears throat> and sounds like spring. So um, here is my vintage Aurora. I don't think you've seen this yet, unless you follow me on Instagram. You may have seen some sneak peeks there. I will be doing a full flip of this, um, so I won't be going through it today to share and explain what's in it. Um, now, to save time, I did already kind of do my month recap, just because I find my monthly videos really long. And so, um, and and I also find it a bit challenging to stay 100% focused um, on what I'm doing when I'm talking through it. So um, a couple, what's today's April 3rd? No, today's April 2nd. So Friday night, <clears throat> the 31st, I went through. Um, so between Friday night and yesterday, I did a lot, but I will be doing some with you today as well. Okay, so I have my task card out. Uh, and this is my monthly task card. So here's the order that I do my monthly planning. So the first thing that I do is look at my month and my year to date, where I'm at for the month and year to date. So my goals tab here, CEO tab, my KPIs. So my KPIs are my seller appointments, buyer appointments, social media growth, and monthly activity numbers, okay? So here are, so let's go through my monthly numbers first. So for the month of March, um, I did 229 contacts. My goal was 125. So I was, I had a surplus of 104. Looks like a minus, but it is a plus. And then my leads were 10 leads. The goal was 20, so minus 10. Six out of four appointments booked, so a surplus of two. Six out of three appointments held, a surplus of three. But contracts signed, one out of two. And then firm deals, one out of two. So this definitely tells a story. I went on a ton of appointments, booked a lot of appointments, went on a ton of appointments, but only one signed a contract. So what does that mean? That means that a lot of the appointments that I went on were not necessarily what we call A clients, meaning they're ready to do business now, like they're, um, they've got their ducks in a row and they're ready to sell or buy or what have you. These are more, they're getting there. So we do the CMAs for them. Um, so let me just show you without showing you names. So here's where I write, so for listing appointments, I write the address, so who the listing appointment is with, when I did the appointment, and then I checked it off if it was held, um, and then when they signed the contract and when they transacted. So you can see all these here that say CMAs. Those are people that weren't necessarily waiting to, or sorry, wanting to sell now, um, but we're starting the process. So it could be six months from now. It could be this year. It could also be next year. It could also be within the next couple of years. A lot of people that I'm meeting with right now, it's more if I can find them the right property, then they'll sell. They're happy with the number. They're happy with the, the direction that the market is going. But, you know, they don't really need to sell, but they would like to downsize or upsize or live in a different area, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, so they're starting to think that. So I want to get into the, in the door as soon as possible. Of course, I do want to meet with people when they're ready to transact, but I also want to meet with people as soon as, as, soon as they start thinking about it um, so that I can help guide them every step of the way so that when the time comes, I'm the agent that they're going to hire, right? So I've gone on a lot of CMAs. Um, and then there's people here, you know, I went on this appointment on the 14th, still working on that. Let me see who that is. Oh yeah. So that's a condo and it's a tenant occupied property. So, um, we'll be listing that one. Just the seller needs to decide if he is going to pay the tenants first and last month's rent to find a new place so that he can do a fresh coat of paint and make it more sellable or if he's just going to sell it as is with the tenants in there. So that is an listing um, agreement. Oh, I didn't write that down. That has been signed, I think, because I was going to look at the date. I forget the date that he signed it. Um, so, yeah, so that one is signed. So, yeah, that one is signed. 
that one was the CMA. And then I have this, um, this seller was sick, so we haven't rescheduled yet. So anyways, there's a story behind them all. But um, yeah, so this just goes to show like I've, I've been going, I've been speaking to enough people. I've been going on enough appointments. And they're, yeah, they're just not coming to fruition yet. But over time, these numbers should increase. Okay. Uh, and then as far as my leads, I should ha have generated 20 last month and I just generated 10. So this was a combination of cold calls as well as um, finding um, leads in my database that I'm moving up the, what we call moving up the pipeline. So I do have this amazing tracker that my husband made. And you know what, I will do a separate video and I will share with you I will share it with you so that you guys can see how everything is tracked. I get asked a lot about that kind of stuff. Okay, so if I look at my leads, that's going to take too long. So I'm, I don't want to drag this video out. But anyways, <clears throat> so what I was going to share with you is like how many came from cold calls, how many came, but there's various sources. So um, let's not get into that right now. So that is how I did for March. Where am I year to date? So year to date... Um, I should have done 375 contacts. I did 500, so a surplus of 125. Leads, 23 out of 60, minus 37. Appointments booked, 12 out of 12. Held, 11 out of 10, so plus one. Contract signed, three out of seven, so minus four. And firm deals, three out of six, minus three. Um, okay, and then I don't have Tyler's numbers yet. I'm, he was very, very busy this weekend doing walkthroughs. And um, he has one that he's working on that should be firming up tomorrow. It's conditional on status certificate review. So I didn't bother him with that. So as of Monday, I'll have his numbers to see where he is and then where we are as a team. All right. So that is my um, month and year to date recap as far as my numbers go. Okay, and then my quarterly recap. Oh crap, I didn't do my quarter. Well, I guess I'm doing my quarterly recap with, with you. No, I did do my quarterly recap, didn't I? Oh, this is it here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no wonder I was confused. Because the first quarter, the year to date is the first quarter. So once we get to um, our April, May, June, once I get to end of June, then I'll be doing second quarter recap and year to date. So this is the first quarter recap of the year. So it's the same as year to date. So that's why they're, it's the, it's the same. Okay. So that's how I did with it, with my numbers. Okay. And then next up is this month's goals. This month's goals. So I did that as well. And I also decorated for the year because we're entering into the busy season and um, yeah, I, I don't want to, I figured since I had the time now, let's just get it decorated and May and June is when it starts to get really warm and we're going to be at the cottage as much, as much as possible. So I just wanted to have that done. Um, <clears throat> here are my quarterly goals, this month's goals and quarterly goals. Okay. So my contact goal for the second quarter is 550. And my contact goal for quarter one was 375. So I'm increasing that simply because my contract sign and my deals are, I'm, I'm behind in those. So I'm going to increase the amount of people that I talk to until the people that I've already been on appointments with convert. But I'm not banking on that because they're not guarantees right now. So that's why I'm increasing my contacts. Leads, 40 leads. Now you'll see I have some um, numbers in brackets. So these are a stretch goal. So technically I would need to do 77 leads over this quarter to be on track for the year. Okay. But my bare minimum is 40. Appointments booked, 12. Appointments held, 10. That stays the same because I've been surpassing those goals. And then my contract signed, 7. I should, I need to stretch for 11 and then my deals six stretch for nine. All right. So that's my um, quarter two numbers. And my main goals for this quarter are my sleeping habits, time blocking my top 20%. So um, as you know, in the last couple of weeks, I've started to time block. Um, and what I've recognized is that with my time blocking, I need to make sure it's realistic. 
um, I got really excited about time blocking and I was just time blocking all the things and then I'm finding when it when it's time to actually put it into action through the week I'm like whoa this is not realistic based on my um, you know energy and everything else I have going on so time blocking my top 20% and then um, making sure I'm realistic with that and then following my schedule because I definitely feel a lot more productive um, when I follow my schedule because I get I get all the things done and then FaceTime with my family monthly so I have pretty big family I've got four sisters and I have you know a lot of family in a different province um, and different cities and things like that so we don't always get together so at least like I want to do a FaceTime monthly call my dad weekly um, declutter my basement so we need to get that done this quarter because come like even June July we're going to be at the cottage whenever we're not working and we're not going to want to come home and declutter our basement so I've got to get that done and then prioritizing self-care so those are my goals for this quarter okay so my top three goals April business wellness and development and these pretty much don't change because these are my um, goals for the year development professional and personal uh, my wellness and financial slash business so that's why you see a running theme there um, for business complete and send six CMAs to core advocates um, realistic time blocked schedule so by the end of the month I want that to be really smooth and effortless and then contacts so I want to start um, so I'm going to have to chat with Ryan about this, I think, for my tracker. See, I tell Ryan the vision of what I want to track and what I want my tracker to look like, and then he builds it. Because um, I I know some Excel, but I'm not that good at Excel. So he is a wizard. So he builds me what I need. Um, contact. So I want to be tracking my contacts on my database versus my cold calls. So in my schedule... As you guys know here, I track my contacts, right? Um, and my new inserts, which I will show you, I'm, I have it separate from contacts um, database and from lead gen, which is like cold calls. Um, so I have that separated. So I want to, um, instead of, you know, I did this many contacts, I wanna know this many contacts from which source so that I know where my efforts are best being used. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's what that means. Wellness, movement goals. I want to make sure I hit my movement goals. And the main thing, I feel best when I'm doing some sort of activity daily and it doesn't have to be like an intense workout. I don't really do intense workouts anymore. Um, now that I'm almost 50, like I cannot do what I used to do to my body. I used to be like crazy running half marathons, teaching two aerobic classes a day, weight training. Like I swear I worked out like four hours a day. And now, like, no way. So um, daily movement goals, physiotherapy, things that keep me my, my body moving functionally and without pain. <clears throat> and that goes into with my physiotherapy as well. So physiotherapy for various, <clears throat> voice is cracking, various things like for my hip, strength in my core, um, things like that. And then digital detox after nine. That's been a big focus for me over this last week. And I've noticed a, a difference in my sleep and um my focus so i'm i'm enjoying that and then development goals so this is personal um but this is all pretty personal but my development is um so i have professional and personal so i don't think i'm going to be separating that moving forward it's just going to be development so continue with my projector course weekly so i'm not setting a goal of how many modules and things like that that i need to get done or want to get done I tried that last month and it didn't work. So I want it perfect. I want it to, um, yeah, next module, which I did, and then finish workbook. So I tend to do like, let's finish this, right? Um, and that's doesn't, it's life happens. Life can throw you a curveball. So um, that's why I just said, just want to work on it weekly. And I don't necessarily need to complete something, but just take the time to work on it weekly and read two to three times a week. And then, 
Oh, this is a professional one, weekly meeting. So right now we do monthly meetings as a team, which is great. Um, but we're recognizing that we really need to meet weekly. Like we talk, I mean, we, we live together. It's myself, my husband, and my son. We're all realtors. It's our family business. But we don't necessarily sit down every day and even for 10 minutes just to have a powwow on where we're at. It's just sort of in passing. Um, and yeah, we recognize that as we're getting busier, we need to have that time. So those are my goals for the month of April and for the second quarter. All right, I don't think I'm missing anything. I think that is good. So next up would be to schedule my month. So I'll go to my schedule section. And here's my April. I decorated it with Sterling, my Sterling ink stickers. And oh my goodness, look at how beautiful these are. And dreamy. Oh, just, I'm in love with this spread. Um, yeah, so that is my monthly already done. I have my May uh, in here. Um, and, oh no, I guess I just have May. I thought I had June as well. I think I just need to print them out. April, May. Yes, I need to get June in here so I have at least have the second quarter um, in here. But you know what? Before I do that, I should share with you... Here's my last week. I'm not going to be doing a weekly plan with me and recapping last week. That would be just be too much. Um, but this is my last week and how things, I think I did a plan with me. Was it on Monday the 27th? I did a daily plan with me, but this is how the rest of my week turned out. So here's my Tuesday. Um, yeah, crazy busy. And then Wednesday, by the time I got to Wednesday, like, Ryan was like, you need to, you need to just take it easy today. He could tell I just was, I, yeah, because I just went crazy Monday and Tuesday. I got so much done. And then by Wednesday, I was like, oh, my brain isn't connecting with the rest of my body today. So I had a massage. We got our, from our favorite sushi place. We watched an episode of our show. Um, yeah, it was just a lovely, lovely day. And then this day here, we had a listing appointment out of town. Um, and then we listed a, um, one of our listings on MLS on Thursday. So there's a lot of prep for that. And then this was Friday. We had our awards luncheon. And then <clears throat> I filmed some reels. I did like a bulk or batch recording for my um, real estate channel. And then I FaceTimed with my sister. Did some March recap and planning. So that was a great, great day. And then this was yesterday, got some laundry done, exercise, which is good, did my nails, and then this is Sunday. And then I didn't bother doing this because I just did my March recap. So if anything, since we're starting April 3rd to the 9th, I might just, no, first and second, it won't matter because I didn't really work because that was yesterday. Okay. Just talking, thinking out loud. All right, um, so yeah, let's get this scheduled. So I'll probably speed this part up just to help things go a little bit quicker. I'm telling you black coffee with cinnamon, just <clears throat> put cinnamon, if you do drip coffee, put cinnamon in with the coffee gr grounds, grounds, grinds, grounds, coffee grounds, coffee grinds, <laughs> and um, like stir it up a little bit with your finger or with your spoon. Tastes so good. So my decorating is done. I do have in here some dot stickers that I might use. And I feel that these colors complement the Sterling ink stickers. I made this myself and I made it as a little pocket so I could have some sticky notes in there. These are from Jane's Agenda. And then these um, Sterling Inc., you can subscribe to her email list. And then she emails you every month with the freebie, um, which is sticky notes. I just print them on paper. But you can um, put your sticky notes down because she gives you a template for these beautiful designs. And um, yeah, so I just have those in there. So I have, because there's times where I need to write something down. And if you're like me, it's like, you're just not going to write it down on any piece of paper. It has to be the right piece of paper. <laughs> it's kind of silly, I know. But I have lots of sticky notes too. I'm like, oh no, that will just get thrown out right away. Um, I don't want to throw that sticky note out. So um, anyways, okay. So 
So let's get this done. So I don't think we have any closings this month. What month are we? April. Do I have any closings in April? Oh, I do. I have two closings in April. Okay, so I'm going to write my closings. So I'm going to do my closings, client birthdays, if there's any house anniversaries, um, my social media focus for this month and main focus. Um, and then I will schedule my month. I'm going to speed this part up, schedule my month. And then next up on the list will be master task list. So I may just keep going with that or yeah, we'll see. I may just speed all of that up. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned. Hang tight. Okay, so my monthly is done. <clears throat> so I have my closings, birthday. There are, look at all the client birthdays. One, two, three, four, five, six, 15. And I have some, there's multiple people on the same day. <laughs> so, wow, April is a, is a heavy birthday month for clients. That's crazy. Um, my social media focus is post one reel a day or every other day um, at the least. Do my captions ahead of time. This is what prevents me from posting um, on a regular basis is that it, coming up with the captions is very time consuming. And so if I have it done ahead of time, then I'll be able to um, I'll be able to do this uh, daily or every other day because the captions will already be done. And it's just a matter of of uploading it so I need to time block that <clears throat> and then um more stories I've actually I used to do I don't know 10 stories a day probably just showing my everyday behind the scenes stuff and I just I got away from it like I just get in such a groove with um you know with my day that I I've gotten out of the routine it's just funny because I would always like when I'm going to be doing something like, oh, let me, let me, you know, put that on my Instagram story. And so I would always have my phone ready and I'm trying to not be on my phone so much. So I've completely, that's like I'm an all or nothing kind of person. Um, cause I completely kind of stopped, um, daily anyways, like a couple days a week, I'll, I'll post some good stories, but anyways, I got to get back to that main focus, realistic time block schedule and protecting my energy and staying focused. That is like my, my main, main focus. So that's it for my dashboard. And then here is my schedule, um, my monthly layout here. And I love it. So I have my 411s every week. I just realized this is Easter weekend. So this is Easter Monday. Now, it's not a stat holiday. Um, so I do have a chiropractor appointment booked and my 411. So depending, we might go to the cottage this weekend and open everything up. Um... So anyways, so this, this may change. Um, got my coaching. It's every other Tuesday. I have physio, massage. So I put like the personal stuff kind of on the bottom. And that way I just, it draws my eye to it. And then market minute, that's what these cameras are for. Because I have, I'm, on Wednesdays is when I upload a, a market minute. Um, a weekly market minute. So then that's my reminder that I have to do that. And yeah, that's that's it. Look how cute. Look how cute this looks. So spring, so pretty. And then my master task list here, um, business and personal. All right. And now if we go to 
So what I want to do actually, is I'm going to keep these in here for, ah, uh-oh. Maybe I'll put them this way. That way they won't peel. I'm going to keep these in here because that way as I update my calendar through the month, I've got the same stickers. I don't have to go searching for them. So I'm going to keep those there. And then my weekly. So I'm going to set this up. Of course, I will speed this up to make it run more smoothly. Let me just um, quickly show you my new layout. Okay, so day on two pages. I'm still doing that. This is my weekly dashboard. So I have my um, weekly task list. Okay, not day or time specific, just things that I would like to get done in that week. My top follow up calls that I need to do or emails, what have you. Work routines. I typed those in ahead of time because those don't change. I want to review my role, my goals every day, do my lead generation, lead follow up and enter my stats. Okay, so those don't change. Personal routines and sharpen the saw, those, those will likely change week to week. So that's why those are blank. And then, I'm so excited about this, then it goes into my weekly. Week on two pages. And I have them dated, whereas before they were undated. As you can see here, right? So I was writing the dates in. So I've decided to date them. Um, yeah, so... The week is April 3rd to the 9th, 3rd to the 9th, and then it goes into the dailies for this week, okay? I made my own compass card, and what I did was I put my roles in here so I don't have to type them or handwrite them each week. It's already there, and then I'll just look at my um, roles in Big Rocks, which I have redone to suit my new... Uh, the way that I'm running my business and my team. So it's all in here. I just did this all on Canva. So here are my roles. Number one role is sharpen the saw. That's me. Um, and then the other roles that I have and then my big rocks. So that way each week I'll just refer to this and decide like which ones need most of my attention, which ones are going to make the biggest impact on my week. And then I'll write my big rocks in. And so there could be, you know, one week could be nothing in a certain role because nothing needs my attention that week and I just um I cut little slits in them so that I can just take this out and transfer it day day by day and um yeah I'm going with a lighter color pink this for this next quarter so this is what you've been seeing over the last three months it's a, a brighter pink I wanted to go softer this time and then down here I have contacts for follow-up Okay, and then contacts for lead gen. I didn't do circles because there's times for when I do my cold calls, I could do 50 contacts and it would just take up my whole page. So I'll just write down the number. But when I do my follow-up calls, I like to circle them in each time I hang up the phone. I circle it in. Um, and ideally, I should be doing, you know, at least 10 a day for follow-up calls and then lead generation on top of that. And then I have leads generated, appointments booked, appointments held contract signed and firm deals. How I had it before was I had con um, appointments booked and then I had it specified if it was a listing or a buyer appointment. I I'm, I'm, didn't bother to do that with my new layout here. Just total appointments booked, total appointments held. I do track that whether they're buyer or seller in my KPIs in here, but also in my tracker. So that's fine. All right, so that's how we, that's how we look. And then on the top of my compass card, I indicated a little legend here. So check mark if it's completed, if I'm forwarding it to another day, an arrow, um, an X if it's no longer important and I'm not going to do it, uh, a dot if it's in progress, and if it's delegated, a circle, if I've delegated it to someone else. And then I put the initial beside like who I delegated it to and then check it off when it's done. So... Yeah, I could have made this uh, sidebar just a little bit thicker, and I might next time I print them, um, but whatever. I wanted to have make sure that I had lots of room to write. Okay, so there we go, and then we have our day on two pages for the week, and I still have my recap. So 
so nothing changed there. My dashboard, my week at a glance, and on and on it goes. So I'm really excited um, to start this layout. Um, how am I doing for time? Am I going to do this now and speed it up? Schedule my week. You know what? I don't think I will. I don't think I will because um, this really is a monthly, my monthly recap video. And then next week when I start my weekly plan with me's again, then you will see uh, how my week went. Okay, so that is that is it. Oh, and then so transfer tasks. I did that. My master task list transfer tasks and then update my trackers. I did that yesterday because yesterday was April the 1st. And I wanted to make sure that I had the most accurate uh, information. So let's see here. Do, 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 do. So here we go for my social media numbers. So Facebook went up by one. <laughs> and my Instagram, uh, real estate Instagram went up quite a bit. So that's nice. And then my uh, buy, sell, plan Instagram went down. And then my YouTube for real estate stayed the same. And then my uh, YouTube here for buy, sell, plan went up quite a bit. So thank you and welcome to all those new followers, all those new subscribers. I appreciate you. And then my activity tracker here. So January, February, and March. I just like to see this overview, even though I do have, I do have it here separated, but this is just a nice, I don't know. I like this layout. I like this layout a lot. So my trackers are done and I'm ready for a new month. So stay tuned for, I'll do a detailed flip explaining where everything is from. I'm absolutely loving this. Oh, I'm just like, I have flipped through this planner so many times since I set this up. I just, I'm in love with it. Um, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope March was a great month for you and that you are ready to go and all set up for the month ahead. Um, have a wonderful week. We'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.